Imagine typing in one sentence and getting a full, clean slide deck. Images, charts, icons, layouts, ready to present. Today, I'll show you something that does exactly that. Genspark AI Slides uses a powerful super agent to turn your ideas, and even your files if you want, into polished, shareable presentations. It can do deep research for references, analyze content, and assemble slides with smart icons, stylish visuals, and clean layouts, and even charts, audio, and video. It's a design team inside your browser. This video is sponsored by Gensparks. As always, you'll see a real unedited demo so you can see if this fits your workflow. So step one, let's build a tech explainer deck. We're gonna start with the AI slides. As you can see here, there are hundreds of free templates available. You can use any of these or later, once you create your own, you can save them as my templates. We're gonna start with this, create a 10 slide deck that explains what are AI agents. For a non-technical audience, include a simple diagram, a timeline of milestones, and one slide of pros and cons. Keep the tone friendly and visuals minimal. And let's hit go. All right, so as you can see here, it's going to work using various tools to read the internet, such as Amazon, IBM, Google, etc. The slides will appear here on the right side once they're generated. All right, so after we hit generate and it goes through the deep research phase, getting all the materials together, now it starts generating the slides. Genspark researches, drafts, titles, and bullets, and lays out all the slides with the icons and supporting visuals. The clean grid keeps everything aligned. We've got structure. We've got the title slide. What is an AI agent? How do they work? Overviews, diagrams, timelines, and the pros and cons, just like we asked. All the edits are made with natural language. We prompt it here. I'm going to add, design a structural page layout with clean grid, but playful asymmetry. Bold title zones, wide text on one side, large visuals or charts on the other. Use subtle accent color blocks behind key sections for energy without clutter. We're going to make this look good. I like how it is now, very clean, but let's see if we can spice it up a little bit. So it's slowly beginning to redo each and every single slide. So it's still working on six, et cetera, six, seven, eight. And it looks like it's actually just got finished with all of them. So let's take a look. The structural page layout is exactly what we were looking for. That's exactly what I asked for. It definitely makes it pop a little bit, makes it a little bit asymmetrical with little visuals that are popping out from the sides. So definitely has got a little zing to it. But let's change the color scheme a little bit, right? We're going to say make the theme more tech oriented. You use green, black, and white as the primary colors. And here are our results. It's looking great. That's exactly what I was looking for. It's got the greens, black, white background. Perfect. I love it. Definitely seems a little bit more tech oriented, I would say. I'm liking the look of this. Now, Gensparks allows you to save your templates so you can keep reusing this in the future. If you like a certain layout or look, just save it as save it into my templates and then reuse it whenever you want to. One thing to keep in mind is that if something is not to your liking, you can always hit advanced edit. This is actually going to allow you to do those minor tweaks and manual edits. You don't like this green floating thing here. It's gone. You want to change some text. You can do that as well. Pretty cool. I just noticed they used the Roboto theme to make it a little bit more tech oriented, which is pretty cool. Now, really fast, let's say we wanted to add an image to one of the pages. We're going to say add an AI or agent image to the first page. Now, we could have prompted it in the beginning to add more images by saying something like use a more of a like an infographic thing or a magazine layout, which would naturally contain more images. We specified that we want it to be a little bit more simple, less visuals. So now let's just add one image to the beginning to see how that works. As you can see here, it's generating a GPT image. All right, it generated that image for us and now it's gonna add it to the first slide. And boom, there it is looking pretty good. If we wanted to change it to a custom image, that's super simple. Let's click the advanced edit and click the image you have a number of options here, including, you know, dragging it to make it bigger or replacing it. Replace it by uploading or image URL. I have this image from Midjourney. Let's try it out. And I click to replace the image and there it is. Let's just make sure it's positioned and maybe make it a little bit larger like that. The whole thing gets automatically saved. And just like that, we have a cool looking AI agent image on the first page. 
easy. Next, we're gonna do a file to deck flow. I'm gonna upload a PDF document and an Excel spreadsheet. These contain quarterly numbers for a fictional business. And for the prompt, we'll say build a 12 slide client proposal summarizing the PDF. Use the Excel for a trend chart. Keep it boardroom ready. Showcase important insights about the business in easy to understand visuals. So Jen Sparks went deep into the documents, went through the two documents that we uploaded that, that had quite a bit of information in there about a fictional business called Moss Isley Cantina. If that doesn't ring a bell, it's a bar on the planet of Tatooine containing some of the most villainous scum in the galaxy. So I created a fictional quarterly sales, etc. So as you can see here, Jen Sparks managed to put it together into a very nice looking presentation. It pulls headlines, the key points from everything that I've uploaded. It creates images and auto generates a very clean agenda. Executive summary, revenue trends, experience optimizations, risk and compliance. You get it. Notice everything's looking very, very good. The charts are very nice. Everything's very clean. Notice it doesn't screw up the currency, keeps everything in credits. It shows year over year growth and trends. They notice a 30% reduction incidence rates. So decrease in incidence per thousand patrons through standardized security staffing. Smart. All right, but let's make some changes to it. So we're going to say shorten all slide titles to under four words. Replace any filler text with action verbs. So I type my edits in here and click go. And notice we can save it to Notion. All of this can be exported in whatever format we want. We are also able to see the code. So this is the HTML behind it so that you're able to just use the code if you want, just export that. You're also able to share this entire project with whomever you want through email. Notice that most of the edits will have its own save points. As you can see here, almost every minute, it seems like it's saving and has a separate save point. So if you want to go back, if something's screwed up, you can go back with a lot of precision. So trim the fluff, it reduced the headlines to under four words. So it looks like most of them are now two, you know, performance overview, revenue growth, and it replaced any filler text with action verb, like achieved consistent growth and projecting this delivered that. So Perfect, looking very corporate friendly now. Now it's still finishing up the last few slides, but the next edit we're gonna make is this. We're gonna say add a case study slide with a three item stat strip. So it creates a brand new slide. It shows it's thinking for a while about what needs to be get done. Everything seems very smart, very reasonable. And then starts cranking out the code to create the slide. Here's the preview. If you're wondering what a three item stat strip is, here's what that's looking like. So this is a success case study. Bith Band Night Initiative. And basically, as you can see here, everything worked out. Great ROI. The three stats statistics are highlighted here across the top. This is perfect. Theme changes are super simple. We're going to say let's switch to dark theme. So if you don't recall the cantina from the movie, it was a dark place, but it had these earthy, sandy colors. So we're going to try to kind of capture that within our presentation. We're going to say switch to dark theme with some earthy, sandy colors. And we're going to say use a sentence case for titles, right? So usually titles uh, are capitalized, all letters are capitalized. A sentence case is the regular sort of, you know, first letter capitalized, the rest not capitalized. So we're making two big changes, including a pretty big thematic change. So let's see how well it handles that. Keep in mind, this is unedited other than like if I <laughs> mess up, if I say something wrong, then maybe I'll <laughs> say that I'll edit that part out. But um, these are not cherry picked. These are kind of a almost live presentation. I'm doing this as we're going live. As far as I can tell, so far is is everything's perfect and everything is grounded to the documents that I've, I've, I've that I've uploaded and everything is accurate. Everything responds as you would expect it to respond. And so far it's looking good. Hey, that's looking pretty good. I gotta say now, one thing to notice here is that you, you can go granular, right? So you can tweak the font, the size, the color, the alignment, so you can do it manually or with the AI. But the really good thing is you don't have to. What's interesting is I think it's Notice the fact that, ah, uh, yes, the slides now have a sophisticated desert cantina aesthetic that perfectly matches the Moss Isley theme. So it caught onto the fact of, of, of what we're doing, which is, which is nice because I never explained what the 
cantina is. So it picked it up in a context. And as you can see here, as, as it's building it out, the theme, I, I gotta say, this is kind of exactly what we wanted. Uh, the contrasting colors, everything's very good. It's certainly a dark theme. I love it. Some of these charts are looking a little bit low contrast. So we're going to say for charts and graphs, let's use a very high contrast colors and add some 3D elements. All right, let's see what it's coming up with. Boom. Wow. Okay. That's very cool. It's got a little bit of a skewed element to it. Definitely very high contrast. That's really popping out. Here's the other one. Yeah, as you can see, it definitely has a little bit of a 3D element to it. All these things are popping up. Notice when I hover over these points, there's some more details that pop up. There's some transparency. I mean, it's looking really, really good. We got these charts and graphs. Yeah, these are looking great. Very high contrast colors. And you can see all of the segments separated. So we can hover over each segment individually. When you're done with your slide deck, you can record your walkthrough or export it. You can export it as a PDF or as a PowerPoint presentation. If you share the PowerPoint presentation, others can continue to create their own PowerPoint based on your conversation. But the point is you can focus on the story. GenSpark handles all the visuals. So here's who this is for. For tech creators, you can ship explainer decks to pair with your videos. For educators, you can turn lesson plans or PDF into clean slides fast. For startup teams, you can do proposals, roadmaps, or investor updates in minutes. And for analysts and marketers, just paste your findings and data to create a clean, polished, client-ready deck. So if your bottleneck is creating the slides and not telling the story, GenSpark's AI Slides is a game changer. Try using my link in the first line of the description. Big thanks to GenSparks for sponsoring this video. If you want to see a follow-up where I build your slide deck live, drop your topic down below in the comments. I'm Wes Roth. Subscribe for more practical AI tools like this one, and I'll see you in the next video.